Some people worry the soul leaves cryonics patients at death. This concern is groundless, however, because simple cardiac arrest is not a state of death. Resuscitation is now possible anywhere from minutes to hours after cardiac arrest, depending on circumstances. In the future, it will be possible to recover people from even longer intervals of cardiac arrest than is possible today. If the question is rephrased as, does the soul depart at cardiac arrest, then the answer is certainly no. The answer is still no, even if a doctor declares legal death, because that is simply a statement that further resuscitation measures are not appropriate, whether they would work or not. Whenever the soul departs, it must be at a point beyond which resuscitation is impossible, either now or in the future. If resuscitation is still possible, even with technology not immediately available, then the correct theological status is coma, not death, and the soul remains. Will the soul still be there if we wish to revive that person in the future? You could ask that same question about people who are already being revived from death-like experiences. Consider the many children who have been revived from cold water drowning after 30 or even 60 minutes underwater with no respiration, no circulation, no brain waves. They appear to be dead and may lack brain activity for a couple of hours after extraction. And 50 years ago, any physician would have labeled them that way and would have made no attempt to revive them. Yet now they can survive such conditions with full recovery. Did the soul go somewhere and come back? Another kind of medical rescue now possible is a suspended animation brain surgery for aneurysms. A medical team lowers the patient's body temperature to about 50 degrees Fahrenheit, shunts the blood out of the patient's brain, and performs bloodless surgery on the brain for about 50 to 60 minutes. There are no brain waves during this time. The team then warms the individual back up and restarts the cerebral blood flow. The patient survives with his memory and personality and presumably his soul intact. The Catholic Church has declared that fertilized human embryos maintained in liquid nitrogen have souls, are humans, and that destruction of them is murder. This implies that liquid nitrogen storage is compatible with the presence of a soul. Orthodox Jews, Seventh-day Adventists, and some other religious groups believe that the Bible says nothing about a person's soul floating up to heaven. They believe the Bible tells us that when you are dead, you stay that way until the resurrection, which means the revival and reconstitution of the physical body, including the soul. Therefore, you may as well stay alive as long as you can. When God is ready for the resurrection, it won't matter if you're alive or dead or frozen. So don't worry about your soul. If such a thing exists, it's not a problem for cryonics. I'm Max Moore. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it interesting, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, check out our website, and consider becoming an associate member.